Okay, so we are holding in Perek Mem Gimel. And Rob the Pasek Chav Dalad. But I want to comment about something from the last year. The last year we spoke about Koheles Perek Hey, and it's bearing on this Parsha. Kahelis Perik Hay. And the point that we were discussing was that Yosef is opposed to the brothers claiming ignorance as an excuse mm-hmm. and saying, We don't know what's going on. He doesn't like, We don't know what's going on. He doesn't like that whole business of um, not knowing your evil. Mm-hmm. That was the Vart, Dream Myrich and that. I want to just add one point. So, Paragdalid in Kahelis ends with an admonition that one should be quicker to hear than to bring a Zebach like the Ksilim do. So the Ksilim don't know to do Ra. Their evil is done with ignorance and therefore they bring Karbanis, Tramachapa for Chicago. And um, Kahela says, you're better off being Shemea than being um, Mishka and say, and, and not knowing, right? Better to be Shemaya. So, this just reminded me of Yosef's plea to the brothers, which is Shemuna. Um, and we spoke about this. That his demand was that they should listen to him. They have to at least listen. So now it turns out that <clears throat> his sheet is Karv Lishmoya. Mm-hmm. His sheet is, no matter what, face what's going on. And don't um, and don't end up in in a ra that you're enam yoydim lasis ra. Yosef wants to face the, the face the mystery and recognize the year as we discussed. But don't but but don't not hear. Don't not notice. And that goes back to his shimuna. Similarly, over here, his argument is korv l'shmoya. That's better. Okay. Fine. Pasuk of Dalit. Vayove ho'ish eso anoshim beisa Yosef. So. Once again, same exact um, six words that we have in Pasuk Yudalid, and Rashi speaks it out that it's twice, it's again and again, because they were reluctant to come in. So, they, so the conversation in between, they spoke to the person that was Pesach Habayas, and they would excuse himself. That's because they were on the threshold, afraid to come in. So only now, after you told them, Shalom Lechem Al Tiro, now were they willing to in fact, enter. And he gives them water. So the point is he's taking care of them. They're on friendly terms. And <clears throat> they are well taken care of. They're not concerned anymore. Okay. This is after you told them, Shalom Lokem Al Tiro. As we discussed last week, last year, the one prior to that, that um, by telling them not to be afraid of him because their God gave them a matmoin, so that suggests they shouldn't be afraid of it, but they should be afraid of Hashem. So there's an element of Yer's Hashem here. Okay. Furthermore, we discussed, um, I think two shirim ago maybe, that in, that the business of the threshold of this bias and their, the question of whether they should enter the bias or not, this is developed in Mishle Perak Tess. Mishle Perak Tess, but really, this parak we can start from the break, five psukim before parak tes, which begins va'ata banim shimuli. So there's a message to the banim, and the message is that chachma builds its house, and is tavcha tivcha. And this is the first clue we had that of, of an allusion to this parak because he was tavach tavach, and chachma invites people into its house and invites them to eat its bread. And likewise, the Ashes Xilos, this is in Perak Tess Prosecute Gimel, also sits by Pesach Besa and invites in the Pesi um, to further fall. So there are two there are two women inviting into the house. One is Chachma personified, and the other one is the Ashes Xilos. 
and um, and the the Yosef could have been one or the other, depending on how he interacted with the woman, the wife of Petifar. Okay, and like as we discussed, their reluctance whether to cross into the cross the threshold of Pesach Beisa is because they're not sure who is Yosef. Is Yosef a bad person because um, the pernicious influences of Mitzrayim got to him, or is he, or did he turn into the Chacham, who is who who now they can safely interact with, right? That's their question. Oh. I don't know, it's him, so I don't know whether he's right. not saying what he turned into. Right. Which, which one is this person we met? Exactly, but it's not about, like you said, it's not that they don't know about him, but the fact is that the partial parallels, because there's right. suffix about this X person, mm-hmm. at its root, in truth, right. is the suffix of whether Yosef grew up as Mishle wants him to grow up, or remained the Nar Hasar Lev. So right, and then his house would, would in fact be dangerous for them because then he would be um, indicative and he'd be out to get them. In truth, in truth, mm-hmm. not that they necessarily knew that. Correct. So on the show in Paragtes and Mishle, where Chachma invites to Tovcha Tivcha, like yes, it was Tevech Tavach. So there in Paragtes Pasuk Yud, it says Tchilas Chachma Yiras Hashem. That's the root of Chachma Yiras Hashem. Similarly, over here, when they hear the allusion to Yeres Hashem, Shalom Lechem Al Tiro'u, Elokeichem, Elokei Avichem, Nosan Lechem Matu, Evan Tachoy Seichem, now they feel, now they know this house is safe. It's the house of Chachma, which is Yeres Hashem, as opposed to the house of Eishas Ksilos, which is the opposite of Yeres Hashem. And the, the Eropasic test ends, the Eishas Ksilos, she calls to the Pesi, the Chesar Leib, and says, Mayim genuvim yim toku v'lechem sasarim yinom. I'm going to give you Mayim genuvim and lechem sasarim. And here, once they're comfortable to enter this house, once they determine that it's not the house of the Eishas Ksilos, with his Mayim genuvim and lechem sasarim, so the Pasuk says, Vayitin Mayim. He gave them Mayim, so there's not Mayim Genuvim. And soon he's going to say, Simu Lachem. It's not going to be Lechem Sesarim. Okay, additionally, we'll get back to this, not this year. Um, in this parish of the brothers eating with Yosef, there's the whole question of who can eat with whom. Mm-hmm. The lechem is it hidden? Is it lechem zesarim? Is it bread that ex- is accessible or is not accessible? And the same thing we have in the story of Yosef with Eishes Pativ, Arkiyim Halechem Ashehu Eichel. There's some connection with oh well, can the Ivrim and the Mitzvah eat lechem together? Mm-hmm. Um, so and that of course, as we discussed in the story of Eishes Pativ, that's a reference to lechem zesarim, which is the isha. So here we're we're where they found out that this house is the house of Yosef Hashem, which is Chachma. So now they're not worried about Mayim Genuvim Lechem Sasarim. And like I said, Vayite Mayim, he gives them freely of this water and the Lechem, he says, Simu Lechem, and they do it together, don't eat together, we'll figure out what. what doing we'll it together, don't eat together is also whether it's a terrible to them or terrible to Mitzrayim. Right. So if it's a terrible to Mitzrayim, so I guess that the Mitzrayim thinks that they're, they're not good, mm-hmm. which is really backward because Mitzrayim is the place that has. Right. Right. right, 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 right. But of course, so the, the, the Russia doesn't know he's a Russia. Yeah, that's interesting. And the fool doesn't right. know he's a fool. Right, right. So everything is reversed, maybe. Okay. Very good. Okay. Pasuk Chafei. Vayachinu as HaMincha. So here we have Hachana on the Mincha. He was Mechen for them. And they are Mechen for him. And um, the Mincha has to do with the food because the Mincha has Vatan Mishkele and Dvash has also food things. Okay. Now, what did the Mincha achieve? What's the function of the Mincha? So it would seem that the Mincha leads to Shalom. In other words, the, the Rapa Shemant, when the next Basak, where the Vayishal of Shalom is a result of the Mincha. So the Mincha achieves, that would be the purpose of the, of the Mincha, what it's going to achieve. Okay. Ad ba Yosef bat So this I'm just reviewing. What's the significance of the fact that they're eating bat So there are two things that are significant about this. One is that in Kehelas it says, Eloch Eretz Shamakich Nar, woe to the, to the land, the king of which is a Nar. This is in Kehelas Perik. Um, Yud, 
פסוק תזבוב. יוד תס זין. Woe to the land, the king of which is a nar, and the sar, the sarvayich ba boiker yochelu. When they eat in the morning, it means they are nar, and they really care about food, and they're not really responsible. Asher yichar shemalkech ben choyrim v'sarvayich ba es yochelu b'gvur v'lebashti. No, they, they wait till the right ace, um, and um, that's because they're responsible people, adults, who, who know that first they have to take care of the matters of the kingdom. before they can take care of them and feed themselves. So that's the significance of the fact he's not eating babayka, he's eating batzaraim. That indicates that as, as, as has been just established, he's no longer a nar, he, he's grown up, he's mature, and he knows his priorities, he has a priority straight. Okay. And the other allusion, the other reference to this tzaraim is in Omois. And this is just to review briefly, we're going to get back to this today. In Omois, Perek Zayin and Perek Ches, There is these two prokem that um, have a lot to do with the Yosef story because there's a clue of koyets and a um, basket of summer fruit like the fruits that they saw, <laughs> right? <laughs> and Omri says, don't sell the poor person for shoes. And he also says, don't corner the wheat market and take advantage of the poor. And he talks about the Nile River overflowing, and he talks about the Rav, which is actually a Rav Lashmar Dabar Hashem. Okay, this is as we've discussed time and time again. But what it says in Perek Zayin, we discuss this as well, is that there's a Navi there, Amais, who's, who's in, um, um, in Beisail, and Amais is told in Perek Zayin, Pasuk in Beis, go eat Lechem there in... Um, In Yehuda, not here, because this is a Mikdash Melech, this is a base on Lacha, so where are they supposed to eat? We Don't eat here. And here the Pazak says, Kishom Yoichlu Batzaharayim. They knew, they found out that, that they're going to eat their Batzaharayim, and Batzaharayim is because in Perkhes Pazak Tez talks about the sun setting at midday, which we should know from other places means that the Nevi'im will lose their ability to have Nevoah. So here we have the Navi eating, where is he going to eat bread? And bread in Amos means Devar Hashem in Perek Ches. And the sun setting in midday means that, oh, it is not going to be Devar Hashem. So eating in midday would mean a clarity of the Devar Hashem or the return of Nebuah. The return of Nebuah and this whole story was evolving around the loss of Nebuah that occurred when the brothers and Yosef traded injustices or Yes, it was the Navi. What? It wasn't the Navi, it was a shepherd. But then the, but I came from right. the Navi because so, the other Navi failed. Yeah, so here's the thing. So that's, that's I think we mentioned this last time, that as I saw, this is not my Chedesh Shalman Chodli, that in Melochim, in the whole similar story where there's a Navi who goes to base ale and is not allowed to eat bread right, there, right, right, right. another Yeravim, that's the first Yeravim, and there's also a Kayin, he's acting as a Kayin. Um, there... The, the good Navi is not called a Navi, he's called the Ishele Kim. Yeah. The, the, the bad guy or whatever, the one that told him to eat bread, he's called a Navi. Yeah. So someone, someone made the point, I think it's correct, that um, when Elman says I'm not a Navi, it means I'm not a professional Navi. Mm -hmm. So I'm not in it for the Parnassah. Because mm -hmm. he told him, eat bread there, Vishamti Navi. So he's saying you're trading, he's saying you're doing what you're doing because you want to gain from it. Mm -hmm. And Elman is saying, no, that's not my... Role. So Navi is like a professional, and Nishal yeah. Kim is maybe just a Matthias, something like that. That's what we've seen from that story. Because he doesn't say, he says, he says I'm not a Navi. He leaves it right. there. He doesn't say, but I became a Navi. He says, no, no, he says, it, right, Hashem, Hashem came, told me, came, oh, he's Lechi Navi. Lechi Navi, right. Lechi right. Navi, but also oh, that I became a Navi. But he's do this thing. Right, do it. I'm not a Navi, but I'm doing Nivua. Right, as it seems. Okay. So. Right, right, right. Okay. And maybe that's what you mean. I'm not a Navi. That wasn't my, my profession. I'm right. a shepherd. Right, 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 right. But I had to do this. Okay. Fine. Now, the mice of this possible is like this. Okay, so that's another thing about the Tzarayim. That's an allusion to clarity midday. Fine. Now we have to think about the following. In this Pasuk, Perek Mumiyom Pasuk Hafei, Vayachinu Zamincha Ba Yosef Atzarayim Ki, Shama'u Ki Shama Yechul Lachim. Because they heard that they're going to eat bread there. So, always a good question to ask 
is this necessary, right? That's always a very long way to ask a question on the bus. Like, what would the story have lacked had it not had these five words? Four words. Six words. Kishamu, kishami, akhlulachem. We know that they're eating there. Yosef commanded the Asher Lebesai to prepare a meal there. He brought them into the house. Okay, it's not necessary for the story, for the Basik to explain how did they know. He brought the base Yosef and he's told his, his steward to make a meal. So, so yeah, that's when the meal is happening. So what is this doing, Michal? What is it doing to the story to say that because they heard that they're going to eat there? Okay, so firstly, one thing it does is that it 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 um, stresses <clears throat> the fact that they're going to be eating there. That there's something interesting, something notable about the fact that they're eating there in the house of Yosef, in the house of Mamalacha. So that we also have an omis about where you could eat. Oh, you're eating there? No, he's like, no, don't be here. Eat there in Yehuda, not, this is a base Mamlacha, this is Mikdash Melech. And remember we said, that it's, it's called base ale over there and base yeravim and base mamalacha. It's all it's it's a bias where you don't belong. And here they are eating there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, in in a deeper way, this I think we spoke about this also. There's a there's a chiddush here that they're eating with Yosef, because what's happening right now is a fulfillment of the dreams. The next pasuk, okay, we'll get to this, but it says So this is. A fulfillment of their dreams, the Shtacha Vesucha Arza. So now it's happening. All the brothers are coming together as predicted the Shtacha Vesucha Arza. Now, the dreams revolve around Lechem. The fact that they're, now, which means that Yosef is in charge of the Lechem, that's the, what the original debate's about. Will Yosef, in fact, be in charge of their bread or not? So, Kisham, Kisham, Yoichu Lechem, there's a Chiddush in that, that they're eating there, meaning their bread comes from. Yosef comes from Mitzrayim, not Eretz Yisrael. So there's a point of view, look, wow, you're eating there, because this event of eating with Yosef is when Yosef show, proves to be, as predicted by his dreams, the master of the bread to, that they're dependent upon and that they all are going to bow to. Okay? So Shom Yoichu Lechem was also saying, look, they're eating bread there. This is where they needed to go to for bread, not Eretz Yisrael, rather the house of Yosef, slash Mitzrayim, slash Beis Mamlacha, where they don't belong, sort of. Okay. Now, um, another thing is, remember we said, another thing is, right, they're going to eat there. There was a hesitation of whether they can enter his house or not. As, as we as it's clearly spoken, what does it say in Mishlei? Like the hesitation whether you can enter the house is like this: there's there's chachmois, um, which is tav chotiv and says lechu lachamu belachmi. So chachmois invites you to eat lechem, but also the eshes ksilos invites to eat lechem, and that's lechem sar. So which lechem is this? So until they found out that this yira, and he said shalom lechem alti rau tchilas chachmois yers Hashem as said in Mishlei. Till then, they were afraid to go there and eat lechem because they don't want to eat that lechem because that would be lechem storm in that house, which is Velayoda, as the pasuk says. They don't know that that house is actually dangerous. Kishamu kisham yoichu lechem is oh, they determined that they will eat the lechem. That the lechem in this bias is the luchu lachamu belachmi of chachma, and not the lechem sasarim of the ishes ksilos. Okay, which means now like this. Okay, so what lechem do they want to have? What lechem are they eating? Right? If you plug in Mishlei Perikdes, so. The lechem that they're willing to eat is lechu lachami belachmi tchilas chachma yers Hashem. Mm -hmm. That's the lechem, um, the lechem of the figurative lechem, which is wisdom. Mm -hmm. So now going back to Amos Perkhas, there it says the lechem is the Dvar Hashem. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly it because they come to Yosef's house to eat lechem only when he references Hashem. Only after he says, then then they're willing to eat the lechem. So that so that makes that that makes an association between the lechem and the dvar Hashem. As Amri says, the real lechem is the dvar Hashem. Because here the lechem is only <coughs> accepted and they only go there to eat once the lechem is associated with Yira. 
and it's the lechem of Chochmas um, Ban Sabesa Tavcha Tivcha. Okay, the lechem of of Dvar Hashem. Okay, and furthermore, so let's say in Amos that passing in Amos Perek Ches Pasuk uh, Yud Aleph and Yud Beis. So there's going to be a hunger, and that hunger is not for lechem, rather for Dvar Hashem. And people are going to be wandering all over seeking it. Okay? They're going to be seeking Vilayim Tso. I said, I think that's another meaning in this Pasuk. When the Pasuk says, Kisham Kisham Yechul Lechem, perhaps, I think there's also a, a, a meaning over here, of them, of them needing to hear where they're going to get their meal from. It's a, it's a point of dependence. Mm -hmm. By saying, oh, you know, they found out that that's what we're going to eat, it's stressing, it's bringing out, that they don't know where the food's coming from, and that there's some mm -hmm. and they need a they need a um, they need to find out where their bread is going to come from. Where are they going to eat? So it's, it's stressing their dependence. So that's what the pasuk Ami says. That look, the lechem, which is Dvar Hashem, the people go around looking for it and don't necessarily find it because when the pasuk is saying, "Oh, they heard that they're going to eat there," it's bringing like look these wayfarers who don't know where their meal is coming from, and they have to depend on the people's kindness. And they may or may not find it. Mm -hmm. okay. They think, they had an inkling, they knew where they're going to eat. So they found out in advance where they're going to eat. Okay, they got lucky and they got someone who took care of them. Someone was kind to them. So that's the allusion to the fact that they could look and not find. Okay. And going back to, to um, so so now, also we mentioned that, uh, we mentioned in the beginning of this year, that Yosef's tviya on them was to listen. Mm -hmm. To be shemea, um, shemuna, and v'kar v'lishmaya. And here, it says Shamu Kisham Yehu Lechem, and that Lechem is Dvar Hashem. So they're finally hearing the Dvar Hashem. And now going back to Omis Perak Tes, where it invites the son into the house of Chachma. So, like I said, really this Perak begins from the end of Perak Tes. Pasuk Lama Beis, that's the Hakdama, that's where there's a break. And there it says, Va'ata Bonim Shim Uli, listen to me. The next Pasuk, Shimu Mosu Bechachamu. And the next pasuk, Ashri Adam Shemeali Lishkar Al Dalsaisa Yim Yim. So they're being invited to be Shemea. They're being invited to be Shemea to the voice of Chachma. So the conversation, the negotiation between the brothers and the Asher Al Beisai, which convinces them that this is the house of Chachma. So the message is Banim Shimuli Ashri Adam Shemeali Lishkar Al Dalsaisa Lishma Mezuzais Pesachai. That they were afraid that their that the Pesach Besa is a risky place to be, and they're afraid to cross the threshold. And now it's saying, no, no, no. The Mezuzah's Pesachai, and the plural over there, twice they're they they were at the doorway of the house, I'm not sure where they can come in. Um, so the Mezuzah's Pesachai are actually the Mezuzah of Chachma, Ki Moitzi Matzachai, and Be'yafei Kratzim Hashem. So they were they were um, Shemea. They understood Kishamu Kisham Yehu Lechem. Now means they understood that this place is a safe place for them to have Lechem because it's the Lechem of Chachma. And not the lechem sazor, as came before it in Mishnah Bereshit. So my two, two points are like this: first of all, shamu, and you have a Mishnah Bereshit, shibu banim, shibu banim, and also because the what Yosef wanted for them the whole time was shibu no, and it could be, to be carved the shemaya. Okay. What is that? What is all this? It seems to be. That the mincha is connected to 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 the lechem, right? The mincha so, that they brought from Eretz Yisrael, remember? Right. Okay. Yes. So that I thought was that's what I said earlier that it's, so there's also the vayachinu that they're preparing for him like he prepared for them to have a bahachain. So that I was suggesting is the fact that the mincha also has food items, as you pointed out. So that's the combination of the meal that the same way he has food for them, they're bringing food for him. But the food that he's bringing them is, is staples in the food that, that they're giving him. Yeah. Is. Yeah. But, but, right, it's just, just uh, delicacies. Delicacies. Right. right. Yeah, I still, there's still something about this mincha that we need to understand better. Yeah. They're, bringing, they're bringing special things, delicacies. That, right. And that's, that's what Yaakov said. Yeah, right. Right, but I still don't know what the whole... The whole part, yeah, Zimna Saaretz. Yeah, it's like um, it's he like a gift. It's a milcha a gift, as a right. Yeah. So he's, he's saying, bring something of of this land with you to that land. Bring right. something right. of Canaan to it. Right. 
to Mitzrayim. Right. Mitzrayim is, is a land of bread, but it's right. not a land of... Land right, of, and there's going to be like a combination of the lands, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it still needs to be explained away, so. Okay. Yeah, well, it still needs to be understand. Yaakov it. himself is the one who, bring, who changes the way yes. the Messiah works when he gives a broken of fire. Right, does, right, 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 right. So now he's making, he's affecting some combination, maybe, right? Yeah, but yeah, I still don't find the sources for that. That's, I didn't find any psukim that mm-hmm. help us understand the significance of the milk. We can speculate. But to get it right, you'd have to be a Navi. Or find, or find where the Navi says it. <laughs> it's usually something how we do that it. might be related to the Klukai, it's being the similar of the Navi, but it's yeah. not, yes. that's not enough to tell us what it is. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, based on Amma, is yes, because Batsaharayim means that you're not going to have the darkness of lack of Navua. So it's like it's just re, it's it's just reinstating Navua. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and and it says over there Barkates, and we spoke about this, and he saw Gola Yil Gilama Admasai. Amma sees that there will be Gullus, and here too they're bats and bringing them into themselves into Gullus. Right. That's okay because now they're doing it with the Dvar Hashem. Because in other words, it's they're eventually going to go down to Mitzrayim with Hashem telling Yaakov al Tiyur the Dvar Mitzrayim. So right. this is going down to Mitzrayim, but Saharayim, meaning with the clarity of 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 a Nevu of Gullo Yigla. Okay, they're going to be um, later, but that that's going to happen later. But that's yeah, like well, it could have happened now. Whatever that's yeah, but they didn't have Nevoah. And Yosef didn't have Nevoah. Yosef had dreams, but Yosef's right. dreams were still clear. Right, right, right. No, but when they come back together, that's when Yaakov's Nevoah comes back. Right. So Yaakov's ultimately the one who's going to speak to Hashem also. Hashem's not going to speak to them and tell them to go down right. the time. Right. <coughs> it's like they're only working out where does Yaakov stand or something. It's almost like they're not. We're trying to work out what's going on because they're not the Nevi'im themselves. Yeah, right. And it's, it's a time to Yaakov by the Nevi'im and they're just figuring out are we doing. Possibly because they failed earlier. Possibly what? Because they failed earlier. They right. No, but even I'm saying, but even when they come back, they don't become they don't become the Navi. No. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah, that's very interesting. So it's still I still need to penetrate this mincha business. Okay. Pasikov of Yava Yosef Habaiso. So now it's it's very interesting because they were already in the bias, as it says in Pasikov Dalid. And now Yosef came into the bias and they bring it into the bias. Or were they already in the bias? So Rashi says this is further into, from the hall into the main chamber, which I really have to say that. But it's still notable, and I think it's something going on, I don't know what. But I will say that, remember, in Alma used there's a whole stress that it's based Mamlacha and it's based Yeravam. And over here also there's Dasher La Bias, so there's again something being stressed with the bias. Okay, and there's like different elements of the bias, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure. Now the Pasuk says that they bring the Mincha Shabbi Yodam, so this is like a gift, I think. Oh, very good. Param Katan, yeah. Very good. Ah, there's two, right? There's two Beis HaMelechs. Right. Excellent. Excellent, very good, excellent. That's what it says in the Gilles Esther. Yes. Beautiful. Who is that, in the first parak? No, in the um, when Esther right. goes into him. When she goes in, when Esther comes in. Very good. Um, where is that? Prayer K. Yeah. She stands. So she stands. Pachatzah beis hamalach panimis. Yeah. And Haman comes. He comes in. He stands. But beis pachatzah beis hamalach chitzay not. Right. It's pachatzah beis hamalach chitzay not. But still, it's. Uh, Right. No, oh, the chotzer is chatzina. Yeah. No, oh, it's the chotzer. The chotzer pnim is chatzar No, there's two chatzeres. Chatzeres, right? right. Yeah. So the chotzer is still part of the house somehow. No, the chotzer of the bias, and there's an inner and outer chotzer, like chatzer is based Hashem. Right, okay. If there's an inner house, outer house, okay. Uh-huh. So, chatzer based on melech pnim is nechach pasach habayis, which is the pasach habayis. Yeah, chotzer is loshon nekev, bias is loshon zochah. Right. Yeah, the chotzer is nechach. So oh no, but she was sta- mm. she's standing there. She's standing there. Okay. I hear. Anyways, okay, fine. Okay, just a few more. One more point. Two more points. A few more points. So it says the minchos be yodom. What's the significance of that? I think perhaps that it's it's saying it was like a hakrava. This is like a, a sacrificial um, presentation. It's called mincha. Right, it's called Mincha. We'll get to that soon in Amos like also. Said, mincha, right, uh, yes, yes, yes. and it's called Kroos Pinei Likim there, right? It's right. like saying of God, it's like Akrava. 
As we said, this is a kim of the dream where they said the shtachav is the Okay, and I want to talk about this pasuk further, but I want to just say one thing on the next pasuk first, and then we'll, and then I'll go to Amos. Vayesha lahem l'shaloim. So this takes us back to the beginning of Vayeshev. His mission to the brothers was lechna reyes shleim achech v'shleim atzayim. But there it says v'lo yochlu daber l'shalom. Finally, things are um, back at at shalom. Okay, they're back together, and and shalom is back on the table. Okay, I want to say one more thing about the previous pasuk and the mincha shabiyodam, and this is on the basis of Amos perik hey. This is um, maybe a little tentative, but it's worth noticing. I think it's worth noticing. Just to remind you, in Amos Perak Beis, he talks about abusing the poor and selling him for shoes. He uses the word evyoin, alayim, tzadik, and shayafim, and dalim, and yatu. Okay, just a bunch of words there. And the same thing in Perak Ches, he also talks about the dalim, and the evyoin, and the alayim. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also in Parakei does the same thing. Okay, so and I want to look a little bit at Parakei today, just for this point. Parakei is like this, and this is against Beis Yisrael, and it's a warning to Beis Eil, and it's a warning to Beis Yosef. Okay, and the warning is basically this is from the earlier warnings that you trample the Dal, and you take the Masas Bar. So here we have Yosef was uh, the, whole, the whole story is about Bar, and Yosef is Noisim Masa Ismais Panov, and you Atzayre um, Tzadik and Evyoin and he too. I'm just showing you those words. So it's, this is a familiar trope of Amos. His problem is what you do to the Evyoin and what you do to the Tzadik. The Tzadik and Amos is Yosef who sold for the shoes, and um, and you he too. So all these same things, all the same problems again, and those are going to cause that Beis Yosef is going to be um, burnt. And you have to do you have to do good and not evil. Hate evil and love good. Pasuk Tezvav, Ula Yechanan She'eves Yosef. And here we have Yosef meaning Binyamin and saying, Elikim Yoch Necha Bini. So don't do all these injustices because Hashem doesn't like it. And then Pasuk Beis, don't think you could atone for all of this with and Mincha. Rather do Mishpat and Tzedakah. I don't care about Zebach and Mincha. So, so it just stands to our Pasha that the injustices that have been traded between the brothers and Yosef, the Mincha is, uh, uh, when he accepts the Mincha from their hands, that's a way of saying that he's because, uh, forgiving them. What? Yeah. Yeah, that he forgave them for that. Because um, otherwise the mincha would not be accepted. So the mincha, like it says over there, Hasem Eolai Hamin Shirecha, Mincha Yisechem Loi Ertze, the Zimras Nevalecha Loi Ashmo, Agav the Zimra, you mentioned the Zimra Saaretz, according to one named Zimra, it's Lashon Zemer. So it's like they're bringing him something that induces song and happiness and, and is appropriate as a Kravon Ligavoya. Hashem doesn't accept it when you sell the tzaddik for shoes. He is accepting it. That means he's forgiving them for that, um, for that action. That's what that's what almost per case suggests. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Shkoyach. Thank you. And I feel like I'm I was actually thinking of doing a Megillah here, but I forgot all about it. Good.